welcome back to another weekly vlog so i am getting ready to go i'm almost finished i finished my beat girl i'm wearing matte lipstick and everything um i am going to dinner today um i did quite a few things today girl like um i did another vlog that will come out before this vlog i mean i just did like a bunch of stuff today and then um i had to come home take a nap and get ready for dinner so we're going to a really nice place that's been on my bucket list for Yelp, of course. And I'm going to take you guys with me, okay? So let me finish getting ready, and I will see you guys there. beautiful people happy new year i don't know if i said that okay if you guys follow me on instagram i've said it in an instagram post or instagram story probably but not in the vlog so good morning happy new year i hope everyone has had a great new year so far it is our chance to have a fresh start okay cheers to a fresh start anyway i was cleaning my oven getting ready to get out of here because i need to go to uh Kroger to pick up some bacon because I don't have any more bacon y'all and um I, I got a coupon for a dollar off a Starbucks drink so I wanted to get that and I also need to go to Target girl and I just went to Target girl I just went but I need to go again because my husband broke my olive oil bottle shattered into a hundred thousand pieces okay so I need to get a new one and I bought that one from Target. So I was going to do that, but my Amazon fresh order came in and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. See? Amazon fresh order came in, girl. Um, I 
ordered from Amazon Fresh before. I just haven't done it in a long time because I found that I like to actually go to the grocery store. It's just, I don't know, it's therapeutic for me, okay? When you become 30 years old, all of a sudden grocery shopping is therapeutic, okay? I also ordered my father some because um, you guys know I'm from California. So my dad is in California and the virus thing is getting really bad again in California. And, and he's an older man. And so he was saying that he was scared to go to the grocery store. So I was like, oh, okay, dad, I'll get you some Amazon Fresh. His is supposed to be um, delivered today as well. But California is three hours behind. So it's early in the morning here. So it's probably super early in California right now. So when the time comes, I'll call him and make sure he got him. But I know, isn't that, I was like, mm, dad, I miss you, you know? <laughs> Cause normally I would be like going back and forth and helping my dad out and stuff. But since I'm all the way on the East Coast, I have to call my cousins. It's just a whole lot. So gotta take care of my daddy, okay? Let me put you guys up here so I can do a little haul. Don't mind my stove back there, girl. It has like my little easy off on it cause I am wiping it down. But let's get to our Amazon Fresh grocery haul here. I only got a few things because you guys know, if you guys have been watching my vlogs, I've been going like hella grocery shopping, like stonking my um, deep freezer and everything with meat. So we have plenty of food. I just saw a few things because I was ordering for my dad. And you know me, girl. I always got to get some stuff for the house and for me. So... I got me some Kashi cereal. I found that this was cheaper, girl, on Amazon Fresh than in the grocery store because I have been contemplating on trying out this cereal. It's supposed to be an organic vegan cereal. So these are like um, whole wheat biscuits, I guess. And then this is the fruit one. I haven't even seen this um, flavor in the grocery store. This is very fruitful. So that's the reason why I really haven't tried this because I was just like, in the grocery store, I would see them and they just didn't look so appetizing. But this one looks appetizing. So I guess the little fruits are like inside of the little grain. I don't know, but we gonna try it because we're trying to make better healthy decisions here, okay? Next, I ended up finding my Himalayan pink salt pepper mix, you guys. I have been looking for this. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I used to use this a lot. And for some reason, I couldn't find it. So Amazon Fresh had it. It was a little expensive, though. It was like $5.99. And I think when I first found this, it was like $3.99. But I had to because this is the best. Like, if you're going to make fried onions or just something, because normally I would make fried onions for, like, um, a sausage topping or just something, this seasons it so well. So this is the Himalayan pink salt black pepper garlic mix. It's all mixed in. I love this, girl. I even like this on my um, avocado toast besides the, the bagel mix and the peppers. But I, I like this on avocado toast, girl. I've been looking for this and I found it. So I had to get it. And they only put those two in one bag. Girl, they up here wasting bags. Um... be all of my fruits and veggies so these are butternut squashes or butternut squashes not butternut squashes butternut squashes um, I found this recipe where they have butternut squash soup that I might attempt to make not tonight but like another day so these are how the butternut squashes look and I got two big ones and they're pretty big and they are organic because you know everything that I'm trying to get is organic I did have something in here that wasn't organic I think it was uh, the strawberries or something no no I don't know Let's see. I don't remember because they didn't have very many organic choices but the things that they did have I ended up picking up so I got two bunches of organic bananas uh, Ooh, these look like they are already little rotting there so we're gonna have to eat these ones first oh we might have to eat all of them honey because look they already have brown spots amazon girl amazon to the front of the office girl come here let me tell you something don't be giving me no um brown bananas already 
Next, I got some organic blueberries, and that is for my um, my oatmeal. I need some more because I have been making like homemade oatmeal lately. I like it a lot. Next, I got some avocados. Y'all already know I got to have avocados on hand all the time. Um, okay, and these are pretty green. So that way they're not already like ready to use because I have some ready to use avocados already. So I like to have just some like on deck because I can always eat me an avocado. When in doubt, avocado it out. Let's see. And the next thing I got here, the next bag. for sunny this is her melon mix it has cantaloupe and i think honeydew melon inside because you know her and her little fruit bowls oh yeah and then i got this this is a uh diced bell peppers mix it just makes it easier so i don't have to like cut up a bunch of bell peppers when i'm making omelets or like dishes that require bell peppers so i just thought this was super duper helpful because i never really see this in the grocery store like that and next i got some of my favorite sausages y'all y'all know i purchase these sausages all the time oh and this one is um wow this one is a double pack so i got eight in this one wow so i love this brand sausages called adels or adels they have all kinds of sausages i am in love with their chicken apple i think it's called chicken apple sausage this one is um well all of them i think are chicken yeah these are all smoked chicken sausages this one is habanero and green chili and i like to put these like in omelets or like something for breakfast and then this one is the um artichoke garlic sausage one so i got some more of those my favorite ones of those sausage are the chicken apple and then the uh, the Cajun andouille. Mm -mm -mm. That Cajun andouille is the bomb. Also, I picked up some turkey bacon. It's for me because I don't think my family is going to like turkey bacon very much. That's why I'm going to go out and buy some regular bacon. Uh, I don't think anyone else here is ready to take the healthy step but me, okay? And uh, I'm barely ready to take the step. <laughs> Because um, I'm not really a fan of turkey. My dad is. He he eats turkey bacon all the time. I, I'm not really a fan. So, um yeah, we'll see how long this lasts, okay? But I got me a whole thing of turkey bacon. It's, um, is it organic? No, it's no antibiotics and it's uncured turkey bacon. So, we'll see how that goes. And I also purchased some eggs. I purchased some cage-free. I think they're cage-free. No, free-range. So, these are organic free range large eggs and they're the brown eggs girl i don't know what it is about me and eggs but i i don't like brown eggs i don't like that but because these are organic and free range i mean i looked up i looked up the difference between a white egg and a brown egg and they said there's really no difference besides what the chicken is eating or whatever girl I'm, I'm willing to do anything for this healthy lifestyle. Okay, so I decided to try these little brown eggs. Now, let's see how they look. So this is how the packaging looks. It's from Organic Valley. Now, let's look. Let's have a look at the eggs to make sure they're okay. Okay, so they are okay, but they're brown. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a mind thing for me, girl. Maybe it's a mind thing. Because I feel like, okay, if they taste the same, I shouldn't have a problem. But the fact that they are brown and they are, some of them are speckled. Look. Oh, honey. What in the world? Okay. So, I ended up getting these. So, I'm going to try some when I'm done with my white eggs. I have maybe like maybe four or five white eggs left. And then we'll see if I can continue this brown egg lifestyle, okay? Because I'm just like... I don't know. I know that there's no difference. At least that's what I'm reading. But it's just a mind thing for me. It's just the color. It's not normal for me. It's just a mind thing. So anyway, that's what I got from my Amazon Fresh Order. And as soon as it is time 
to call my dad to make sure he got his. I'll call him and make sure he got his and make sure he got everything on his list that he wanted. So let me go ahead and get up because like I said, I need to pay a visit Starbucks girl to spend my $1 coupon. And um, I need to go to Target to buy me another freaking olive oil bottle. just got back from Kroger and they didn't have excuse me oh my god Dior is here she came with us girl and she's mad because we went to the Starbucks inside of Kroger instead of the one like you know the drive through and I told her I was gonna get her a puppuccino girl and they don't make puppuccinos inside of Kroger so she's you hear her? She's talking mess to me right now. So I'm, I'm going to have to make her one at home. She just don't understand. So anyway, we're headed to Target right now because... Uh, <laughs> Dior, can you stop, please? I'm talking to my people. So I'm headed to Target because uh, Kroger did not have an oil container that I used for my olive oil. Well, they did, but it was like ugly. I didn't like it. It had like a wavy design type. I just want like a regular nice um straight clear one like i had last time so i'm gonna head to target and get that and um i wanted to stop by home goods but now i don't feel like it i just want to go straight to target to see if they have an olive oil thing i'm being able to find a good olive oil container to my liking um i did buy a ham <laughs> even though we don't need a ham um they have all these hams on sale i guess from you know christmas and new year's i guess people didn't buy the ham so they were all on sale like literally like big pound like i think it was like a hunt a dollar and like 39 cents a pound so it came out to be uh 17 dollars i saw some for like 16 dollars 20 dollars so not more than 20 dollars so i just thought it was good so i picked up uh, already pre-glazed brown sugar ham to just throw into my um deep freezer but anyway girl let's head to target because dior dior is having fit in. are you happy now i'm gonna make you one when i get home i'm gonna make one when i get home mama i promise i promise okay mama i promise don't be mad at me Girl, so I'm back. And no, I didn't find my olive oil bottle. But I did find some goodies. So like I said in the car. <laughs> can you please stop? <laughs> Do you see how this is what I'm dealing with? My husband making too much noise. He breaking shit. I just can't. Today is supposed to be self-care Sunday. I'm having a rough day. <laughs> like I said, I found some goodies at Kroger. So, girl, if you have a Kroger near you, they're probably having a sale because I think they like, you know how like when people have a, a overabundance of like food and stuff for, for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, and they start having everything. Girl, that's what's going on. It was completely packed in there. And all I needed was some bacon, which I got. I got this one. Um, normally, I get the thick cut, but it says a pound of bacon right here. So I feel like it's just a lot more bacon than the thick ones. Because the thick ones, they only give you about, I don't know, 11, 12. This one seems like it's just a more. So we'll just try this and see what happens. But... Girl, if you have a Kroger near you, check the sales because they're having meat from like, you know, I think Christmas and stuff like that. You can just throw it in the freezer and you'll be good. So, I bought this spiral ham, right? Now, check it out. I only buy like the smoked ones because I like to do my own glaze. But this one came with glaze already. It says brown sugar glaze. So, it's pre-glazed already. So, and it's like, you know, it's a nice size. It's not like super big, but it's a nice size. So, I'm just going to put it in our um, deep freezer. And I went to Target and searched my olive oil bottle and I couldn't find it. But I did find this. Look. 
it's a mini like um what do you call that not a decanter but what's what is the mimosa one call where you make the mimosas and put it in here so you can just continue to pour it they call it a capara or oh a, a carafe c-a-r-a-f-e a carafe or something so this is like a little a smaller one because normally they're like kind of tall so this is a smaller one it was only five dollars so i thought this would be cool to make my little mimosas in with like my frozen fruit and stuff and then i found this now i still need to get a big one because i've been wanting a bigger one but this is just like to hold your like little utensils or spoons or forks or something on the stove instead of having like, you know, a napkin and then placing it there for like all the drippings. I kind of wanted something like that to like catch the drippings so it can prevent like the mess that happens on the oven. I have to like constantly wipe off the oven. So I just thought this was cute and it's black and white and it says spoon. It's cute. It was only like $2.99. So. So I just made Dior her puppuccino, you guys, because she was just tripping in the car here. You feel better now? You feel better now? Yep. Mm hmm So that's the end of that. Hey girls, if you made it this far into the vlog, thank you so much. I know my vlogs can be very, very long. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just popping in to tell you guys about Javi Coffee because this part of the video is in partnership with Javi Coffee. Now, Javi Coffee is a liquid microdose coffee or for short, a liquid instant coffee, which is delicious, by the way. Javi Coffee is convenient as well as environmental safe since you're not throwing away any plastic K-cups or canisters. Javi Coffee has a new limited edition flavor, which is peppermint mocha, and I'm telling you guys, it is so good. It has subtle hints of mint and also notes of chocolate. Chef's kiss, okay? Don't forget that you can enjoy Javi Coffee either hot or cold. And don't forget, your girl has a coupon code that you can get 15% off of your Javi Coffee purchase in the description box below, okay? Thank you, Javi Coffee, for sending me this new flavor. And thank you, Javi Coffee, for partnering with me on today's video. Now, please enjoy me making a nice cup of Javi Coffee and on to the vlog. So I am at work right now getting ready to get in there. I'm grabbing all my stuff because today we are doing vision boards. So we're having a vision board party at work today. And I am super duper excited. You guys, I have all my magazines and stuff. I brought all my magazines. I already printed out like my little words that I'm going to put on my board. I have most of my stuff already on my desk. And I just can't wait. And um, I'm probably going to put you guys... I don't know if the girls are going to want to be on camera, my co-workers. So I'm probably going to put you guys, um, like, on my desk somewhere. And you guys will be able to probably just see me, but hear everybody else. Because we have, like, the greatest conversations, you guys. They're all a little bit older than me, and they've all been married, and they just have, like, really good relationship advice. Uh-oh. Lock the car, girl. They all have really good relationship advice and just really good like insight on life. You know, kids, buying homes, I mean, lifestyle, just all kind of stuff. Like the conversations we have inside of my office is like crazy. So hopefully I'm going to ask them for permission and hopefully you guys will get to hear some of the things we're talking about and then you guys get to see some super awesome vision boards. But I would, would be, I, I feel personally like, what's the one who's been showing half house all the time? Oh, all of them. No, nah, the one you just said yesterday. Lizzo. Oh. Lizzo oh, could oh. pull. Lizzo could pull her. One, I mean, she could. She has the potential. She has the makings to be able to pull that. Of course, she won't because she out of hand. 
But even yeah. as a big girl, she has the money and she has the power due to the money to be to be a, a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She don't have a plan. But she don't have she's missing the key components. But if you just looking at looks, even though she's a big girl, I think she's she not could. a big girl. Not right. Not. I think she could if she was different, you know. But I, I think that you know, but I mean, if, if Beyonce gained weight, would the world, would Jay-Z be with her if she was bigger? No. Well, Jay-Z cheated on her already, so it don't even matter. But he didn't cheat with a big one. Her no. I mean, that we know. No. But, uh, Jay-Z ain't going, he ain't staying nowhere. And... Ain't nobody got no big woman out there. Who got a big woman out there? Pierce Brunson. Pierce Brunson. Was she big before she or after the marriage? She's always plump. She's always been up. Okay. And look at the other girl, Delta Burke. You know, but they all take them. Oh, yeah, Delta Burke. Mm -hmm. Jack A. Jack A was a. She was curvy. She was big, though. You know, the, the very end yesterday. You right, but a lot of these girls are getting boobs and butts and stuff. Their hips, they look big to me. Yeah, Ooh, some like. of the women. I'm just saying, I don't know who they oh, are, okay. but just in things, I'd be like, girl, her arms look. I mean, they are mean. Well, some of them do, yeah. yeah, they be thick, girl. Like, and yeah. I'd be like, well, what is the? Yeah, the arms and stuff feel big. Like you didn't get. You should have sucked some of that out your arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah they be thick, and I'd be like, well, they were down. Like, what is yeah. the difference? I guess they don't want the stomach. And uh, you know, a certain thing they'll take that's big, but they don't want the other stuff. You know, it's just like it's a, a, they have a bigger body frame, but yeah. still, it's all in the right places. It's, it's in, in the right places. Then you say, um, what flat something? What do they? What do you say? Put something on flat. What we just oh, flat, stomach flat, in, flat. Yeah. out. Yeah, that's how they feel. Yeah, about yeah. It. yeah. Now, if you got that, you ain't really considered. Yeah, you got yeah. But um. never know. Just like some women might look at little skinny dudes, or they might look at big dudes. I never think, fat people ain't never women. But you never, but you never know what a bigger guy, what a big dude, you don't know what. You know what I'm saying? You really don't. You can't say that his ding ding little, or he don't know me. You don't, you can't, but you can't say that. Just I like think a fat man can get a woman before a fat man. Right. Yeah. They can. Fat men will walk around with skinny women all day. Yeah, they be skinny women. Especially if they have money, because uh, what's attractive is the money. <laughs> And that's and, uh, that's right. and that's yeah. Right. That's another double standard. That's a double standard. Yeah. Exactly. It's hard. I hate for us. Right. We already gotta have babies. Right. Or they got to. But you know what I'm saying? No, you can't. You can't have any kids. Yeah. Can't be a single mom. Can't so have stress mom. So you have babies and get stress mom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute now. Can't have too much. So. Now, on the high-value man spectrum, that quote-unquote high-value man, I get it that it might look like a bigger person is lazy or doesn't care and work out. I get it because it does say something about you if you are disciplined and you get up and you take care of yourself. I get it. I agree. It does say something about you and the care, who, where you are. I agree. So I get that. I get that they want to fit in. So I get that.
four main points, no, five main points to mine, and then the rest is like kind of cluster. So the five main points is elevate my business, upgrade my appearance, move in silence, financial future, and in my YouTube. Okay. And then all the things inside. So like where the financial future is, I put like bills paid in full, like my checking account, my daughter's savings account, a booming business savings account, um, wealthy investments, because I want to have like investments, and like the move in silence, I just put like fit and fine, because you guys know I've been like working out, discipline to make more content, like energize, I want to be um, a game changer, a trendsetter, I want to have a fresh start, and then for upgrade your appearance, I want to be black girl in luxury. <laughs> Yeah, I want to be black girl in luxury, so like I like some Chanel stuff on here and stuff. And um, I put like great family, and for YouTube, I put like all these different campaigns like Vogue and Tiffany, because I want to work with these brands and I want to be a brand ambassador like Megan. Megan was a brand ambassador. And uh, for elevating my business, just like boss bitch, dream clients, <laughs> <laughs> top clients. Um, and then like my dream house. I have like a dream house on here. It looks good. Wow, that does yeah. look good. So that, that's mine. Yeah, <laughs> well, what are you doing, Mia? Since we're in the crowd, we want all the money. Well, we want all the money. I'm checking the patients. Um, so <laughs> 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 yeah, right. I haven't quite finished mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chasing the money, like I said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who's next? <laughs> well, at least I was talking about before you came. Cool. He's like, where's Tamia? She didn't want a vision board. I was like, well, Tamia well, already has perfect marriage, got the perfect job. All her dreams already came true. <laughs> <laughs> she a nice person. So. Oh, are you feeling it? Let me get you guys set about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> Yeah, we already yeah. talked about it. Yeah, we already you. have like perfect, I feel like the perfect family, perfect everything. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, nobody's perfect, but I will take that. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm still, you finished? He's still perfect. working on it. I'm laying. I That's clean. Okay. You, was, you finished. She <laughs> clean. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm coming. I'm just still finishing up. I'm 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 bringing it to life really like in my mind I am but it's not you want to execute it yeah you I feel like I believe like that you work I'm like, like yeah, I feel like you're doing that already oh here it is thank you I feel like, yeah, you know, you know, okay. I feel like not to the extent that it could be yeah not to the extent but I feel like the, it's gone yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 just at the up. beginning what I see is it's so funny how you can see somebody else's greatness yeah, right 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 right
of Janina Poo. I think that Janina she Poo. has there's a lot of growth there. I think you have really grown, yes. and I'm very impressed. I'm so happy yes. to be your big sister yes. and your mentor. That you know, <laughs> I really do feel that way. I mean, I really do. Okay. I do. I see the growth. I'm serious. Well, even with their business, um, you're a stepmother now, um, and doing the blended family and maintaining mm -hmm. business, working during COVID. Oh, yeah. um, being a nurse and holding it down, and your husband's in the military. Sometimes he deploys out, and mm -hmm. even when you deploy, <laughs> <laughs> you just hold it down. You know what I mean? So I really do respect that. I'm happy for you. Thank you, Mia. I like that. I agree. Yeah, it's a lot of growth. Janina, yeah, I see a lot of change since I was in there. Mm -hmm. When I first got here, she was nasty. And then, you know, <laughs> to be stronger, mm -hmm. 
you know, especially with everything that happened, but you know, mm -hmm. I just want a stronger family, but not just like a stronger family, like we are strong, you know, we going somewhere, but I want it to be faith related. I want everybody to go to church, I want everybody to be on the same core accord. Mm -hmm. Like spiritually I want everybody to grow. Mm -hmm. And then that was that this right here goes along with my plant based journey. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Mm -hmm. But no, remember, you yeah, no, it is gonna work but out. But I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. Same thing with no boundaries. Mm -hmm. I'm not setting no any boundaries. I'm not putting any restrictions on God. I'm not because it's gonna happen. It's gonna mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. So as far as the money thing, I didn't put money. I put wealth because I felt like wealth. <laughs> <laughs> because I felt like wealth kind of covered everything. Like like my spirit, body. I want it all. I don't want to be limited to money. I want it. I want it all. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that unless I find my voice and I step out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I picked wisdom because that's something I'm praying for. I'm praying for wisdom, and I said upgrade, not like upgrade. I want to upgrade my house, upgrade my car. I want to upgrade my life. <laughs> Look, y'all talk about my magazine. I want to upgrade that's all right. life. I'll that's upgrade right. it all. Whole sermon. Yes, honey. That's right. Keep on going. So because my voice I'm counts. Some top top. Honey, that's that's right. right. You're you are relative. See, See that? See. You oh, are so I got my water. I got my water oh. right here. <gasps> Got my water. Hey, it's good. 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 Got my water in. I ain't got no here at the job. <laughs> I like I got, that boy. It looks you know, better. Look, that's where I'm. That's where I'm. Well, that's the time in it. My kids are important. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like they're the center of everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't even mm -hmm. see them on this thing. Kids. Kids. Oh, I see them. <laughs> and this, this, is, this, this time is now because this is the time. This right. Time. This, this is the time. It's a fresh start, but I ain't got no place to put that. Fresh start. I want to live my best life, which means everything. Hope and change. Have faith. I feel like all that works hand in hand, mm -hmm. and I want to be leading by example. And I say for my four kids of all ages, for my kids, for everybody. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, that's me. Excellent. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I was going to add something uh, 20 minutes ago, but I lost it. <laughs> what I was going to no, no, now. I, was was so I, I really think that you are already a mentor. Mm -hmm. You have mentored us so much with the girls in school and. You know, you finish your degree right BSing on everything. We just really, <laughs> uh, we're proud of your accomplishments, and you are, you are very a, a good addition to this unit. Well, I mean, look at you. You really are. You always think of the positive. Yeah. You try it first. She does. Y'all try make You really do. And I, I, I just thank you. You know, it don't take much. She's my baby girl. Get older now, like us, but I mean, I am so proud of you. <laughs> I'm still in my thirties now. Dirty 30 is almost up yeah. for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very proud of you. And I know sometimes you don't hear it much because you, you know, you don't accept it much. But you are really a, just a, truly a blessing to be here. Oh, oh, thank you. With the unit. I'm off next week. I'm going to need you to go. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to do procedures. She needs to do procedures. Talk about the looking back as Nina. I know. Actually, you did good. I think you went back in. I did. Um, oh, so, and then I, I added more. And then I went and stole this from Nina. Uh, uh, love of my life. Look, I feel like you know all that. When that, everything else works out, that you know that's right there. Too. And they will. But you got to get out. You got to get out of the yeah. house. You can't meet nobody in the house. You got to find your voice. Yeah, you got to find your voice. That's why it's so big. a puppuccino this time so here we go here whoopee you got your puppuccino here you go here you eat it over there <laughs> you're welcome good morning you guys it is friday morning i just dropped off sunny so we went to we went to starbucks first and then i dropped her off at school she had to go to real school today and i say real school because girl she's been online school like her whole entire like school year okay like not even school year her whole high school she's been online but i took her to real school today because she had to take some like test called the sol or something it's like a virginia thing where you have to take this big test in order to pass or every semester i don't know girl but i had to take her this morning so i called off work and took her so i hope hopefully she studied last night because i made her study and stuff girl it's like a science one or something 
Uh, right now, me and Dior are at Kroger. I'm about to go in because I need to get me another lobster. I only have three lobsters. And now that my stepson is back, I need four lobsters. So I'm going to go in here and get me a lobster real quick. I'm going to make lobster mussel pasta tonight. Probably with like some, um, I'm going to try to find some Toscano bread in there. If not, some French bread. Yeah. I don't know what vegetable. I guess, I guess the pasta is enough. And then I'm going to try to find me some wine. Um, I'm thinking about getting me a nice white wine to go with my little seafood pasta, whatever. I'm not sure, girl. And I might pick me up some champagne for this weekend as well. And I'll probably head over to this Home Goods too, because there's a Home Goods like right here, I see. Um, to try to find me another olive oil bottle. Girl, I have not found another olive oil bottle. I found a few on Amazon, but I just don't want to buy them because they're expensive. Like the one I bought from Kroger or um Target that my husband broke was only four dollars. And the ones on Amazon, girl, they talking about like $17.99. I'm like, really no buy. Um, but one of my co-workers said that I can go to Ross too, and they have some at Ross for like $2.99. I don't know, girl, but before I have to pick up Sunny, we're going we gonna to do a little bit of shopping to see if I can find me an olive oil bottle. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's what's going on right now. So, let's head on into this Kroger. tail and my linguine and all the stuff I needed to make the pasta today I did walk across the street to home goods and they didn't have an olive oil bottle either Kroger had some more olive oil bottles but they were like this wavy ugly design with a cap on top it's like I just want my regular <laughs> square shaped clear olive oil bottle glass that I had last time like I just can't believe like when I need something of course it's like nowhere to be found right when i didn't need it i found it and i just picked it up at target it was only four dollars now all of a sudden when i need something i just can't find it so i'm gonna head home uh, my daughter should be calling me soon because i think the test is only an hour or two so i'm gonna head home drop the groceries off get some gas and then she'll probably call me and then we'll head to go pick her up okay girl real quick haul I got my linguine. I got two of those. Even though I probably only need one. I always get two because, you know, you never know if the pasta messes up or maybe somebody else wants some more pasta, girl. I don't know. Next, I got the one lobster tail because I already have three. And I found me a good um, Pinot Grigio. This is by Menage a Trois. I've had this um, company's wine before, mostly the red wine. But this one is called Limelight limelight uh pinot grigio so i wonder what the difference is because they had normal pinot grigio too so this one is kind of like a green color or maybe it's just the bottle that makes it look green but i thought that was cute so i got that um two alfredo sauces 
and this one is the roasted garlic alfredo because i kind of wanted like a garlic lemony flavor because i'm going to be adding lemon zest and a little bit of lemon juice and like heavy cream and butter to this already made alfredo sauce um i don't know if i'm going to put tomatoes and spinach normally when i do like a pasta i'll put tomatoes and spinach so i don't know if i'm going to do that but i know i wanted kind of like an alfredo butter lemon cream so i don't know we'll just experiment with some sauces and then I found my pan Toscano bread to go with some truffle, black truffle olive oil, okay? You guys, I got a package in the mail, so I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I think it's my Ecologic order. Like, girl, check this packaging out. So, I think I showed you guys the other epilogic order that I had. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did like an unboxing at the end of my last vlog with all of the boxes I have. And it was just a regular box. Okay, so I bought something else from epilogic because I'm going to do a review on it. And I thought like, at first I thought I was going to do a, just a review on the cleanser. But then I was like, you know what? I want to try the toner too because it has all of this just like good skincare benefits and stuff and I was like you know I just want to try the toner too so I decided to try the toner and try them both at the same time together so I remember that box it was just a regular basic box now this one looks a little different and did you hear that it has like a velcro strap look it's kind of cute look that's kind of awesome like that's kind of awesome girl with the velcro strap so anyway i just wanted to show you guys that girl i'm just i don't know i don't know what it is about me i am just like a um person that like <laughs> i i look at packaging that's why i think with my brand cali mentality packaging is important to me everything is like individually wrapped it's in a nice logo bag with handles because i just feel like stuff like that is very important to me i feel like you have to like convey the look as well as the product so i'm just i'm just a packaging person don't worry about me girl i'm really super weird like that and i love to unbox things but yeah yeah so okay so it is my epilogic order and it's got to be the toner yeah all right so this is the even balance coq10 facial toning formula and it's it's just supposed to be really really good because this brand is by a black was by a black owned um well it's a black owned brand and um the founder of course is black she um she's a doctor but i believe she is a like a eye eye specialist or like a eye plastic surgeon or something to do with the face or the eyes and she decided to come up with a skincare brand so i just thought that was really really interesting so she is one of my um black owned brands that i'm going to review on my list and look at that it's in a nice glass bottle looks nice so it has aloe vera coq10 whatever that is hyaluronic acid and chamomile and i don't know it's called even balance and so i mean this stuff was expensive girl epilogic is not cheap and i was looking on youtube to find like different reviews and i couldn't barely find any like i found um Hiram the skincare guy I find I found like a video about him just recommending it but he didn't actually try it so I'm actually kind of excited I think mine is going to be the first video up to even like have a dedicated review on their skincare products so yeah girl that's it that's all I got in the mail this time <laughs>